Hi, everyone, and welcome to the preview show delivered by FedEx. I'm Marty Snyder from NBC Sports. This is Chris Rice from NTS Motorsports and also right here at NASCAR.com. Man, we had a lot to talk about after the race this past weekend at Martinsville. Obviously, everybody talking about Matt Kenseth, Joey Logano. I just want to get your take on what happened on the racetrack between those two. Well, let's go back and look at a couple of races a little while ago. Let's go back and look at Kansas, what happened. But that was a race for the win. So I look at things like, hey, is this not a race for the win? But let me tell you something. Matt Kenseth is a racer, and he got spun out by the two car, which is a Penske teammate. And I feel he just, you know what, he got back out there. Didn't do it on purpose? I don't know. I think that's up to uh, NASCAR. Well, Chris, earlier this week, NASCAR hands down the penalty. They suspend Matt Kenseth for Texas and Phoenix. Fair penalty, you think? Uh, fair penalty. But you know what? I'm really concerned. Why suspend him? We look through all the different races and things that have happened in the chase. I'm really concerned. Do we take our gloves off and do we go at it? Because when race car drivers put their helmets on, all they know is what they heard. They don't remember what they talked about. They heard, take your gloves off and let's go at it. But you know what? He was many laps down. Joe Logano was leading the race. Uh, that was a pretty severe wreck. Meanwhile, there was a race as well. Jeff Gordon obviously won the race. A very popular win for Jeff Gordon. The guy I predicted who would win the race. The guy you said would not win the race, just for the record, by the way. Um, I, I want to know from you, fitting that Jeff Gordon in his final season at least has a shot to go win the championship at Homestead. You know what excites me is the whole time I was worried about Jeff Gordon. I kept being, I was worried about Jeff Gordon making it to the next round. He's going to Homestead, everybody. If you don't believe me, watch him. He says that I'm going to Homestead. So it is fitting. Jeff Gordon it goes and wins at Martinsville. I mean, Martinsville is a great racetrack for Hendrick. I mean, how many wins they have there and everything that goes on. So I'm really excited to see Jeff Gordon go for another championship in his retirement year. I spent some time with Alan Gustafson and Jeff Gordon this week, and they tell me they're going to use Texas this weekend as a big test session for Homestead. You know, it, no secret, they're good at Homestead, but they have not been good at the mile and a half this year. What can they really learn from Texas that they can apply to Homestead? I, I must say the tire. The racetrack's going to lose grip. The tire is the same. I mean, it's a lot of things that go hand in hand from Texas to Homestead. But all in all, he can just go race. Let me figure out what's going to make speed 20 laps into a run. What am I going to do to make this car better? Because they haven't been fast at the mile and a half. And it's coming down to Homestead to get him a, his last championship. So that's the difference there. All right, let's check out the chase grid. One race into the eliminator round. Two races to go here to decide the final four as we head to Homestead. Obviously, you see Jeff Gordon, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., and Kevin Harvick as of now are the final four. The guys who are out, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Brad Keselowski, and Carl Edwards. Of the four who are out, Chris, who do you feel best about maybe putting themselves back in the top four this weekend? Joey Logano. I mean, he's been fast everywhere we go. How can you not pick Joey Logano from Talladega to Martinsville? He can win anywhere. They're fast everywhere. Todd Gordon knows how to rally his group and say, okay, guys, we got to go to the next race. They've said it time and time again. They're not taking this as three races. They're just taking it as a normal race. Let's go race and race. Joe Logano will get in, the cha to get in the final round. Well, I think everyone, when they think of Texas, where we're going to go this weekend, thinks of the tempers at Texas last year. We've seen this highlight a number of times. But I'm curious, do you think it's track situational with the tempers that we see at the racetrack? Or, as Steve Latart and I were talking this week, is this the pressure of, as he said, the new NASCAR? Because your season comes down to a three-race stretch to make it to the championship, is it the pressure of this new chase that's creating all these tempers and things like what we saw at Martinsville? It's definitely the pressure of the new chase. Even we, we see it in our voice. We're starting to get excited about what's going on, what's happening. So it's the pressure of, hey, it's a three race to get to the next round. So, I mean, it's, it's not racetrack specific. It's all about, I got to get to the next round. And, hey, we don't know what's going to happen next week. I think Dale Earnhardt Jr. said it best when he said, you know, as a fan, which he's obviously a fan, I love this new format. It's incredible. It creates excitement. As a driver, I hate it. It puts an unbelievable amount of pressure on these teams and these drivers. But, hey, that's what the playoffs are all about, right? That's right. Exactly They're right. Trying to win a championship. All right. Texas this weekend, as we mentioned, fast, a racetrack that wears out. So it should be a fun race. What do you think we're going to see this weekend? We're going to see some guys up high. We're going to see some guys down low. We're going to see a lot of different racing. But the thing we're going to see, you've got to go on restarts. If you got some old tires and you got new tires behind you, you got to get out and keep that clean air. So that's the thing that you're going to see. We're going to see a lot of different lanes being able to pass. You're going to be able to pass when it comes time to pass because the tire falls off. And that's something I always say I love. When the tire falls off, 
puts it in the driver's hands. I think we all agree. A tire fall off, certainly a good thing. It will create some passing. Should be a fun race weekend at Texas. All right. Who are you going to pick this weekend, Chris? Joey Logano. <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> well, why not pick Joey Logano? He's fast everywhere. He's probably driving to Texas right now, and he got there in probably five <laughs> hours. But I'm picking Joey Logano. Todd Gordon, I said in the show earlier, I like him to rally his group and get them back in the winner's circle. I'm going to go with Kyle Busch. I just feel like, you know, we've seen one good story. Already locked themselves into the chase at Homestead. That's Jeff Gordon. I like the story of Kyle Busch. Obviously, with missing the 11 races this season. I think they have certainly had the speed at this type of racetrack, the low-grip type racetrack. I think they've been very good this year. So I'm going to go with Kyle Busch this weekend. And what kind of story would it be going to Homestead, Kyle Busch and Jeff Gordon after the stories they've had this year? That would be cool. I think it would be very cool to see. All right, make sure you keep it right here on NASCAR.com all weekend long. Live leaderboards, in-car audio, and, of course, the updated chase grid, which will be critical because next week we'll be heading to an elimination race at Phoenix. Make sure you check us out next week, and we'll preview that race for you as well. Enjoy the Texas race weekend, everyone. We'll see you here next week.